Today, we've got the newest Fright Crate Mystery Box. So, I'm gonna start changing what I call these, okay? So this went on sale February 1st, 2021. I just got it in today, which is April 2nd, 2021. So they always like sell their boxes six to eight weeks before you get them. So if you buy them in February, like February 1st, you won't get it to like late March or now like April. So pretty much they're, if you want to look at it, they're pre-selling either March's box or April box. So they're always like, they're not behind. It's just they pre-sale. So they should honestly, if they sell, let's say June's box on June 1st, they should honestly just call it the July box because you'll get it in July. That'd make more sense. Instead of calling it the June box and not getting it until August 1st. You know what I'm saying? So everybody is receiving this now in early April. So I'm calling this the April 1st Fright Cray. For you now, that's what we're doing because it kind of seems kind of odd to say, well, this is this is the newest box. We're in April now, but it actually was sold back on February 1st. It just, it seems odd. So here on out, we're just calling it what it is. This is the April Fright Crate box. That's what it is. So anyway, 30 bucks a month and they do ship internationally. I have no idea how much international shipping is, but I know they do. So I think with, uh, with shipping, it's like 38 bucks shipped. I think it is maybe 39, but it's, it's pretty good value. I can be honest with you, most items in this box, I do not keep though. Most items are not stuff that I collect. Why do I buy this box every single month? Because the value in it is actually very, very good. There's always like a little like statue made from the Cereal Resin Company. Those sell 20, 30 bucks a piece sometimes. It's not uncommon to get 20 bucks a piece or more for just the little statue. And uh, most of these boxes, honestly, I make double my money back. And I've kept a few things over the years. Uh, I've kept some t-shirts from these boxes, but the majority of items in this box, I actually will, I will actually sell it, which is okay. You won't like every item in every mystery box you purchase. If you don't like it, put it on eBay. Recoup some of your money. Too easy, right? Here we go. Crack this bad boy open and see what is in the newest April 2021 Fright Crate. We're just calling it what it is. Everybody's getting this box in April. You bought it in February, you get it in April. March's box, we probably won't get until, until May, honestly. So that'll be the May box. Makes sense. That makes sense to my brainwave of thinking. Here we go. On top, we have a t-shirt. Oh, last month's t-shirt was freaking fantastic. I kept it. I've actually worn it a few times. It was it was Halloween, right? I think it was Halloween, I think. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Here we go. Take off the Fright Crate paper. First item will be the t-shirt. Let's check it out. Oh, some fell out. Hold on. What fell out was the uh, little magnet by the Sir Resin Company. I will show the camera first what we're looking at here. Is it awesome? What we got? Oh, we got Bride of Chucky. That is super cool. I know a lot of their t-shirts, if you're a horror fan, Fright Crate, sometimes they have fantastic t-shirts in their boxes. Some fantastic t-shirt. That is super cool t-shirt. Will I keep this t-shirt? Um, I'm not too sure. I like the t-shirt, it looks pretty cool, but do I need a Bride of Chucky t-shirt to wear around? Actually, I, I already have a Child's Play t-shirt that I actually got from a Fright Crate box that I do wear from time to time. Do I need a second Chucky t-shirt, a Child's Play t-shirt? Not really. So this actually might just go up on eBay for sale. And honestly, this will probably sell for 20 bucks. I like the franchise, don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest Child's Play fan in the world, but it's a good franchise. Here we go. Let's go ahead and let's do the item that fell out with the t-shirt. Oh yeah, they're always, there's usually now every month there's a little statue, plus then there's also a magnet that comes out. And we have, oh, this is from um, Mars Attacks, right? Yeah, I think this is from Mars Attacks. Pretty sure that's Mars Attacks. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure that's Mars Attacks. 
And his nose actually has a little chip on it. Looks like probably just during production, his nose got a little chipped. It's not bad though. Just like on the very tip of his, or his like kind of a nose, it has a little chip on it, but it's actually pretty cool. Looks pretty good. I don't keep this stuff. I always sell this. The chip will hurt value on a little bit, but uh, that could actually honestly just get some match up the uh, green paint and that could easily just be touched up. You won't even be able to tell. Pretty cool though. That's not bad. This is obviously, this will also be from the Serial Resin Company. They do fantastic work. A lot of these boxes use them for their props. Here we go. Next item, the monthly pin. I'll show you first what we have. Is it awesome? We have, I guess that's just supposed to be a Cupid, I guess. Kind of. I guess it's supposed to be, that's what it looks like. It's kind of like Cupid with a bow and arrow. Kind of, of course, it says Valentine's, but uh, yeah, this is, they pre-sale it on February 1st. We didn't get it till April, so this, honestly, this is the April box. Um, that's just how I'm going to say it from now on. So much easier. Here we go. Next item. We have, looks like some kind of a little, oh, and I dropped it. Little item right here. Chopping mall. It kind of looks like um, the hand from the movie House, or was it House House Two? Like on the front cover of the VHS. Um, but I don't think I don't think that's what it's, what it's from though. But I mean, obviously it's kind of a play on the word shopping mall. I don't know if this is actually from like a franchise, some movie that I'm just not grasping. But uh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little metal keychain. Here we go. Next item. Actually, last item. Here is the statue. So we actually have, looks like about a three-inch statue this time. On a last month's statue, I put it on eBay and it sold for, it was like six, I sold it for like 60 bucks. No joke. You don't believe me. Go to my eBay account. Go to the link down below. Search sold listings and you'll see it. And it went for like 60 bucks, like a crazy amount of money. Whatever it was, I don't. No, I don't remember. Oh no! Oh, I think it was the Crypt Keeper. I think. I think. Here. Oh, that's awesome. This is going to sell for some pretty good money. We have the Crow, played by um, Brandon Lee, right? Yeah, Brandon Lee, or you know, formerly. Uh, he's no longer. He's no longer with us. Brandon Lee. The Crow. Okay, this will sell for pretty good money. I, I like The Crow. Uh, am I the biggest fan of The Crow? No. Um, like, Do I know all the actors or all the quotes from it? No. Um, but The Crow is a good movie. I respect for what it was. And uh, yeah, if you're a Crow like fanatic, this will look awesome as a display in your collectibles room. But yeah, I... I think the only statue I've ever kept, actually I've kept two. I kept one of Jason Voorhees that they did probably two years ago. I kept that one because I love Jason Voorhees. He's my favorite like slasher villain of all time. Then I kept the one that was the um, the the Jin or Jin, the Jin from uh, what was that movie called with the red little ruby? That that statue I kept the Jin. That was a super cool one. Those two I kept. But yeah, this is actually, this is a highly made, very well sculpted statue. That's pretty nice. Here we go, the cheat sheet. It's super small. I'm sure you won't be able to see it on camera. But see, exclusive to Crow Bust. It can't rain all the time. This four inch bust is brought to you by the Sir Resin Company, exclusive to only Fright Crate. So it's a four inch bust. I thought it was a three inch, it's a four inch. Exclusive Deadly Duo shirt, The Bride of Chucky. One of Whore's iconic couples arrived in this exclusive shirt designed by our favorite collaborator, Max Cave. Max Cave, he actually, yeah, he does fantastic work with Max Cave. Exclusive Ack Resin Magnet from Mars Attacks. That is from Mars Attacks. I think I actually got most of the franchises correct this time. Sometimes I, I, I can't figure out franchises, but I knew that was Mars Attacks. Brought a Chucky, The Crow. So I did, I did okay this time in terms of knowing the franchises. Exclusive Valentine Cupid pin. So yeah, it was just just a, a Cupid pin. So I actually got that one right too. And then exclusive Chopping Mall metal keychain. This is the mystery item it says. 
Don't let the robot mall guards catch you without this awesome keychain made exclusively for Fright Crate. The robot mall guards. I guess there's there must have been a movie called The Chopping Mall that I've never seen or heard of. I won't keep anything from this box. This bust, I bet you 20, 25 bucks. T-shirt 20, 45, 55. This is once again, this is going to be an easy double up if you don't want to keep these items. You know, but if you're a collector and you want all this stuff, you got crazy value. If you got this, I respect the content. It was great value, cool items, but nothing that I want to keep for my personal collection. But my review of this box, two big thumbs up, worth every dime. So I'll see you next time in with the May 2021 Fright Crate.